All right, welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all on Friday, just before noon? Got to be work at 2 o'clock today, so it's uh, between 11 and 11.30. So I placed an order at Sterling, and we're going to miss it by one day. It had to be the weekend shave. It, uh, it said it's out for delivery, but we don't get delivered here until rather, rather later in the day. So... Uh, We'll have some new stuff coming then. Oral Valley is what I chose. I got the bath soap and the uh, shave soap sampler and the uh, aftershave sampler because I like the way the, a couple of things. One, I like the way the uh, the scent profile read. And two, Oral Valley is Tucson, just, just outside of Tucson. It's one of the little next little places all kind of crushed together. Suburb maybe, but anyway. Um, and uh, some good memories from Oral Valley. Yeah, so okay, so the other day, someone asked about the PAL blades. There was a discussion going over on, uh, going over on uh, Toast, that's T-O-S-T, the number three dot com. You know, it's uh, all single edge all the time, that's all we do, single edge injectorators, shavers, everything else is unmentionable. So nice, quiet little place. But anyway, we have a few people post over there. And uh, they have gotten some bad, as I remember, I think they had gotten some bad carbon steel blades, treat blades, and I think probably moisture had gotten to them at some point. That had happened even to new blades. So they, uh, someone had mentioned pile blades. Uh, I used to be able to buy pile blades local when I lived over around New Iberia, and then the store that I was getting from quit carrying them. Uh, now I'm able to buy treat blades. I much prefer carbon steel. I think they're smoother than the, even the uh, coated gem blades personally. I uh, see where other people are really getting into the Cody Gym blades and yada 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 and all the hype and all the stuff and that's great. Yeah, go ahead. Now, bulk pals, uh, I didn't think I had any experience with them. Uh, you know, you can you can buy the gym blades in bulk, you can buy the stainless blades in bulk, you can buy the carbon steel blades in bulk, well you can buy a pile blade, P-A-L is written on. And I had forgotten that at some point, somebody had sent me some. Now I was digging around looking for some and I found these. Now I haven't opened it to see what the blades look like or anything, but the deal about the pile blades where they were coated and uh, they're still carbon steel and they'll still rust, but uh, yeah, you still need to dry them off after the shaves and all, but the coating I always thought was nice and I always liked, uh, I always liked the pile blades. And I admitted freely several times on different videos that probably one of the biggest reasons I liked them is because I could buy them local. But anyway, there you go. So they're a coated blade, and uh, these look good. I don't see any problems with them at all. But we're gonna give them a try and see what the bulk, because these would have been bulk bulk, and then I just got, they, they sent me some. And uh, didn't realize I had them. I would have offered to share. I would have said, hey, you know, send me an address and I'll send you some blades to try. I've got some sitting here, because these are some some people sent to me. And, most stuff people send to me saying, hey, you know, give it away. If it's something you want to use, use it. You know, I want to contribute. And some stuff was sent to me specifically for giveaways. I have the stuff ready to be mailed out. I just have to make it to the post office to get all stuff mailed out, people that are waiting on things. It did not go out Monday as planned, nor Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. So anyway, and apparently I ain't going to make it on Friday. But I am working on it. All right, so, uh, yep, yesterday was Williams Wednesday. I missed Williams Wednesday. I saw a few other people did it. Uh, yep, got some information. This is uh, smells a lot like Brute instead of the actual Brute. I'm going to use that. And uh, I got my vintage Williams in the old Scuttle there. Horsehair brush. And uh, was that always broke like that? Oh, yeah, that's part of it. Okay, thought I broke my scuttle, the foot, but no, that's just how it's made. But anyway, the way I picked it up there, I'm easily, oh, squirrel, easily distracted sometimes. So anyway, here we go. No, Linda, there's not really a squirrel. No, don't, don't go by there looking. She tried to chase a lizard up a brick wall yesterday, and I had to explain that just like the squirrels, the lizards run away, and they run up stuff you can't get up, so you're not going to have a good time chasing lizards. Anyway. I got her normal blanks there, but, you know, I explained it well. But tomorrow is Saturday. LSU, first home game. 
and as I've whined about many times, I live right next door to campus, so we're going to deal with the traffic tomorrow. Their first game was away. As far as I'm concerned, they could all be away. And they got their head handed to them on a platter in the second half, and they can keep that up as far as I'm concerned. Because years when they don't do as good, there's not as much traffic. Years that they do good, like a national championship year, the traffic on the weekends exponentially gets worse. But anyway, maybe I just need something to whine about. I don't know. But anyway, we got our horsehair brush. Be long. Is it be long or by long? Be long is what I say, I think. Maybe I pronounce it different every video. Oh, hey, look. Come to supervise? Huh? All right. Good with me. But uh, anyway, that's how I say it. And then again, like I said, I, maybe I'll change it up different videos. So there we go. All right. And we'll find out how these here pal blades are doing. So the grammar police got me the other day. I typed out a message and I had the audacity to use then instead of then. And it's probably something I do a good bit. Because I really don't care most times. It's, 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 it's a YouTube comment. Come on, folks. So I had a couple of people comment on it. And the first one I commented back to them, they asked, why do you use this instead of that? And I said, well, I just do it to tick off the grammar police. But it was a really neat little video. It was two, uh, two young, young gentlemen, very young gentlemen, one of those electric, uh, what do they call the little electric, uh, it's not Hot Wheels, that's the little cars. But anyway, the Power Wheels, I guess it's called. And, uh, I guess it's an apartment complex and they're out kind of driving around and they kind of pull up in a parking space and a, a sheriff's deputy pulls up behind them and the driver bails out and takes off running, little, little boy running, and the passenger's having more trouble getting out. And I commented that I guess running from the police is like running from a bear. All you got to do is outrun your buddy. And uh, yeah, a few people saw the humor in that and understood it was, a you know, and then the grammar police show up. Actually, twice. I finally went and changed it just so I didn't, I don't want to distract from somebody's video making a comment. Well, that time I didn't. Sometimes it, that's the whole point. But anyway, not that time. All right, here we go with the power play. We got it in this here. This here. What is this thing? Whew. You know what? Hold that thought just one second. I didn't realize I didn't have my uh, old reading glasses on. So anyway, this here is the, the Ever Ready, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember correctly. This is an Ever Ready. It's a Made in Britain Ever Ready. Uh, what do they call these things? Natural Angle? Slim V? Something? We call them featherweight. But it's a dark handle model. And it's, uh, to me, essentially the same thing as the white handle model. I can be a big fan of the, uh, the, the featherweight. A lot of people talking about how mild they are or whatever, and it's just, it's always been a good shave. All right, I can already tell you, blades just fine, no issues. So, just from this blade on the first pass here, I'm going to say that the uh, bulk power blades are just fine. But remember, just because it's got the coating on it doesn't mean you can treat it like stainless and not dry it off and everything. It's still, a, it's still a carbon steel blade, and you will still need to uh, dry it off after you use it. Nope, that's too much work for you. All right, you know, all right. There you go. Old fuzzy, kind of old-fashioned. I still prefer. I've never driven a zero-turn mower, but I still prefer the... Uh, the old tractor style ride mowers. My brother, I think, got him a zero turn here not long ago. But, uh, I just like my old tractor style. Back when I was growing up, the commercial mowers, there was a company called Yazoo Mowers. Ironically enough, Yazoo City, Mississippi. 
and uh, it actually had it was a tricycle, a reverse tricycle wheel. It was like a tail dragger airplane, like an old cotton picker. It had the two wheels up front and the one wheel in the back, and that's how you made them them turns. Cause that back wheel would whip you around. It was basically a zero turn with that back wheel like that, and you had a lever that you pulled forward and backwards. And uh, the harder you pushed it forward, now this is as I recall, I don't know if I ever drove one of the things, but as I recall, the the further you pushed the stick forward, the faster forward it went. And you could whip that thing around, had that front mount deck on it, and, and you could get it around, and that was what the, all the commercial boards were using. And then they had a push mower that was on... Uh, set of big wheels in the back and that thing was just like pushing a bush hog it, it would mow basically anything uh the deck it didn't have all the skirting around so it was easy to get your foot under good way to get hurt but this would have been back you know 70s 80s early 80s but anyway and uh i can remember pushing one of those yazoo push mowers and you could get it over it, it would bow it. That's how I remember it. All right. Yes, indeed. Good job from the power blade. Don't let the, uh, if you're one of them folks and you, people talking about how mild the featherweight is, don't let that keep you from trying it if you think you don't like mild razors. Uh, there's absolutely nothing in the world wrong with the shade from a featherweight. And then they had the deluxe models that had the gold colored, like, you know, end caps on them and things like that. They, they were pretty good looking in my book. We'll get us some across the grain stuff here. But they don't do against the grain. If you do, bless you. I can do all of that and get that little bit closer shave. And in a couple of hours, we're right back like a... Uh, Sandpaper. So there we go. Check that out. So that was after a couple of days of growth. I don't think I showed you to start with what we were mowing, but it was a uh, couple of days worth of growth because I was off work yesterday. Worked some extra shifts early in the week, but uh, I was off yesterday. This is scheduled to be my weekend off. We'll see how that goes. All right. Get us a little witch hazel going here. Do I have to dry off before I use the witch hazel? Probably not. And probably I don't all the time. You know, I get to talking, doing a video and I get to talking and, and things just kind of get put on autopilot. So sometimes things just happen that don't normally happen. I've been shaving and look up and I'm supposed to be doing it across the grain and I'm doing a second with the grain. And, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, I didn't turn the air conditioner on. Now it ought to be okay. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. But uh, we finally actually got some rain here recently. Been having some rain come through. We went a while without any rain. But uh, we were breaking records that were set in the 19, early 1930s. It was a hot period then too. All righty. Make sure we got trimmed up around that goatee. Nobody's really going to walk up and touch your face and feel it and see how you shave it. Well, not but once anyway. And, uh, but still, if I miss a spot or if I don't get good somewhere, I know it. And I don't like that. It bugs me. Anyway, we're going to grab the old blade there by the spine and then you just dry it off and you're good to go. So the pow, the bulk pow. Uh, you know, basing it on that one blade, they're just fine. Did a really, really, really nice job. Just as good as other carbon steel. Now, I know that there's people that, that don't like the carbon steel, that like the stainless coated, stainless steel blades. I get it. I do. I think the, uh, I think the, uh, carbon steel blades are sharper to start with, they're smoother to start with. The first couple of shaves on a stainless blade are always rough to me. And a lot of it, I guess, probably just has to do with non-existent nostalgia, because I don't remember using carbon steel blades back in the day. 
but that non-existent nostalgia is something that a lot of us strive for. And people point that out every once in a while. You know, we, we, we think really good about things or we're using stuff because that's what they used to use. Well, you, maybe. Burma shave. The Burma shave soap cakes is not what we should be nostalgic about. The nostalgic from that was it was a brushless cream. And, uh, you know, then it died off and then someone bought it and it came back and they used that name for the soap cake. So are you really nostalgic when you say Burma shave? Is that really that big a deal? I mean, it's only from back, what, the 80s? I don't know. We remember the good times. We don't always remember the hard times. Oh, it was so much better back then. I'd want to go back and, and this and that, and I do it myself. But uh, when you sit down and think about it a lot of times, there were a lot of bad times in there, a lot of things that weren't as good, but we're still... Personally, a lot of those, uh, when I talk about past times and stuff, even throwing in the bad stuff, it was better. In my opinion. Well, anyway, oh, one last little story. So I was watching TV the other day, and they were doing one of these travel shows, and one of these travel eating shows, and they were down in Palacios, Texas, right down on Matagorda Bay. You got Palacios down there. What else is down there? Uh, Port Lavaca is down there, and, and stuff like that. And they get the freshest seafood comes right in off the Gulf. And every year when we go down there and harvest cotton. It was around my birthday, and that'd get me a whole fried flounder for my birthday. So I've been to Palacios, Texas and, and, uh, and eating their seafood. Been a few moons, but I've been there. They got this big old long fishing pier. It goes out to this big round pavilion, or used to. I don't know if the hurricanes have beat that down, but uh, whenever the show was made in the background, I saw a pier going out, but I never saw the pavilion. But anyway, spent a few nights out there and this, that, and the other. There'd always be someone out there with music bunch of guys and gals and folks were out there fishing. If it was early enough, the, the town folks would be out there hanging out, and that could be fun. And if it was late, there were usually just the fishermen out there, and that's fun in itself. So, Flash uh, is Texas. I thought that's pretty neat to see that on a TV show. That's nostalgia for you. All right, well, there we go. So there we go. Williams Wednesday on Friday this week. And uh, with the vintage horsehair brush, Smells like Brute in an excellent shave from an Ever Ready. I can't remember if they called that the natural angle or what they call it. Somebody help me out. Rob, hey, Rob, you, hey, wake up. Help me out with that. You're the man. We'll see y'all. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, next shave, all sterling. I'm going to use a sterling brush. I'm going to use a sterling soap after shave and even the bath soap uh, i wanted to try out that bath soap i haven't used it in a while so there you go that's what's on my agenda whoever you are wherever you are whatever you're doing happy shaves to you <laughs>